Hello everyone! I hope you are doing well today. This is Liza Tabor Bamonde, an English lecturer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to practically use an inductive approach in teaching grammar. So the grammar lesson that I choose is the simple past and simple present sentences. So, inductive approach starts with the teacher giving examples to the learners. Then let the students use that examples to figure out the rules for themselves. The order of inductive teaching starts with example to rules. So, instead of giving students a rules, then having them practice it with examples until they discover the rules for themselves. Inductive teaching approach is a sort of discovery learning that focuses on the students. For example, an instructor might use or show a few examples of a grammar point in English and then ask the students what they noticed. Such in Teaching simple past tense. The teacher will show students a list of words in the simple past, like walk, talk, and clean. Then the teacher will ask the students to tell what is the same about the word given on the board. Then until they figure out the rules for themselves. Another example is when a teacher writes on the board a few examples of simple present and simple past tenses. Such an example of simple past tense and simple present tense sentences example. In simple present tense, she boils water for tea every morning. While in simple past tense, she boiled water for tea this morning. Then the teacher will ask the students of what differences they notice in the sentences. Then the students will discuss those differences they notice and maybe even try to convert simple sentences from past to present on their own. Finally, the teacher will explains the rule for converting sentences from past to present. In many cases, the grammar point might be introduced by simply engaging the students in a direct conversation to slowly introduce it. The teacher will guide the students to noticing the grammar pattern and finally explicitly exposes them to it. An inductive teaching is more on student-centered, right? Which the students need to learn new things and gain knowledge by themselves. And now, let us know how our inductive teaching is conducted. So first, the various kind of activities are used to make lesson interesting. Second, encouraging student engagement. Lastly, is to have meaningful and memorable lesson for student to remember. Such, when the teacher gives them a story with adjectives then the students need to find out the adjectives from the story and underline it as a result. Then the students need to list down the adjectives on the whiteboard. So this is how inductive teaching conducted. In most cases, some teachers say that an inductive teaching is an effective teaching method in teaching grammar. So let's find out why does an inductive teaching is considered 
to be more effective approach or method in teaching grammar. So let's find out the reason why an inductive teaching is considered as an effective method or approach in teaching grammar, it's because the students will learn new things and gain knowledge from those examples given by the teachers. In that way, the students will gain knowledge from those examples and easily understand and find out the rules by themselves. However, there are advantages and disadvantages in using inductive teaching in teaching grammar. So let's find out and let us know what are those advantages and disadvantages of an inductive teaching in teaching grammar. So now, let us talk about the advantages of teaching grammar. I mean, the advantages of inductive teaching in teaching grammar. Advantages number one. Rules learner that discover themselves is more meaningful and memorable. Ad advantages number two. Students are more actively involved in learning process. Advantages number three. Students will have a greater self-reliance and autonomy. And those are the advantages. So now let's proceed to the disadvantages of inductive teaching in teaching grammar. First disadvantage is the students may hypothesize the wrong rules. Second disadvantage is it can place the heavy demands on teachers in planning a lesson. Last disadvantage is time and energy spent working out rules may mislead students into believing that rules are the objective of language learning. So that's all the disadvantages of inductive teaching in teaching grammar. And that's all about inductive teaching. I hope you learn a lot about inductive teaching in this video. Thank you for listening. God bless us all.